What we have here is a reproduction of Curtis's famous June bug from 1908. This particular airplane was built and flown back in 1976, built by local volunteers. And we've had it in the Curtis Museum ever since. That was a big day for Curtis, July 4th, 1908, because on that day he emerged in the public eye as a pioneer aviator. This was considered the first pre-announced public flight of an aircraft in America. And here to see it in Hammondsport were over a thousand people, plus newsreel photographers and newspaper uh, reporters. So it became front page news, and Curtis emerged in the public eye, as I said, as a pioneer aviator, but more importantly, aviation itself emerged in the public eye. Heretofore, very few people in the United States had seen an airplane fly in this country. The Wrights have been flying, doing their experimentation in Huffman Prairie back in 1905, and pretty much stopped at that point. They thought they'd or they felt that they perfected the aircraft and put it in a hangar for two and a half years. And during that period, Europe, they were starting to develop aircraft there. Santos Dumont flew it in 1906 in France. And Curtis and Associates started flying in the early months of 1908, culminating the flight of the June bug on that July 4th. Aviation itself emerged in the public eye on that day. All of a sudden, people in America became aware of aviation. It was a hugely significant day, and it happened here in Hammondsport with the June bug at, with Glenn Hammond Curtis at the controls.